Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody's doing fine. I'm doing great. I'm up today. I'm just up kind of late. You know, I had took a pain pill and it relaxes everything in my body. That's why I don't like to take them. And it kind of slows me down what I'm supposed to be doing. But today I want to talk about uh, Dwayne Wade, the basketball player. Y'all know his uh, son transitioning into being a transgender. So now she's living her life as a girl. Or should I say a woman? Uh, well, he blocked IG on some of the comments that they were seeing, you know. I mean, I just think that he's doing his father duties. I think that. I'm going to just put it to you like that. I think that he's just doing his father duties to protect his child, you know. And I don't think everybody want to get on this man and, and talk about him like a dog or stuff like that or just talk about him and drag him. I don't think he's done anything wrong. I think that he's doing what he has to do as a father, and that is trying to protect his child. Hold on, y'all. Okay, yeah, I'm back. So I don't really think, and I don't see nothing that he's doing wrong, but like I said before, my phone rang, uh, protecting his child. And as parents, I feel like that's what we do. We protect our children. And everybody want to drag this man. Everybody want to talk about this man. But at the same time or the end of the day, I feel like if y'all was in his shoes, I think y'all would do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, to me, it's nothing wrong with him protecting his child. And it's nothing wrong with him standing by his child. Because to me, that's just, to me, I guess, that's just what a, 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 a parent is supposed to do. And if he wants to protect his son, a.k.a. transgender, uh, why we can't accept that? Why we have to be so cruel and rude to him? You know, why we can't accept what he's trying to do? Because dang if we do, dang if we don't. You don't understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to just say this. If, if he wasn't supporting Zion or Zaya in her decision to transition to a transgender, y'all still have something to say. And he supporting her now, and y'all still have something to say. So when is it not, y'all not going to have nothing to say? Do I think he's doing the right thing? I can't say it's up to me that he's doing the right thing. I, I can say it's up to him because that's his child. Do I feel sorry for the biological mother? Because a lot of people been talking about, about the biological mother. I can't say I feel sorry for her or not. Because what she did, she went online and this is what she said. She said online, that she does not approve of Zaya or Zaya being a transgender. So when you say things like that, you looking not to be accepted by your child. So why is it that you trying to walk around here and feel like you the victim or you hurt. That child is the one finna go through heartache or pain if she ain't already have. Luckily, she got Gabrielle Union there to help her through the process, to help her through her journey. And like I said the other day, I basically just... 
Bem... I basically think that she didn't start acting like this until the Wayne Wade married Gabrielle Union. That's what I think. Hold on, y'all, because I got something else. Okay, I'm back. So I was just getting to watch something. I didn't, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched bits and pieces of it. So the guy was saying he was repetition of the family support Zaya whole process. But the recognition of is they want to ask is because, you know, in the gay community, everybody feels that somehow that transgender or gay male or should I say, a.k.a. gay men has been molested. Not everybody's been molested. And that was one of the things that the biological mama put out there, again, allegedly. See, that's why I say people in this world need to stop. People in this world need to stop. And like I say, it's nothing wrong with, I feel in my heart, Gabrielle supporting Zaya or Zaya. I want to make sure I get it right. I feel like it's nothing wrong with that. What I do feel is like every time you turn around, they want to get, they want to drag Gabrielle Union or they want to drag Dwayne Wade. And for what? Because they've been a supportive family and because they're doing what they they supposed to do as a family, as one. One thing I have kind of realized, and I had told everybody this before, you cannot make nobody accept you. If, the, if, if, if you, if they don't want to accept you, you, you can't do it. You can't make nobody accept you. While we on this story, I'm going to talk about something. Nah, I'm going to talk about that in this video. I'm not going to take away from this video. I'm going to talk about that in the next video. But it, don't worry, y'all. It's going to be talked about. Uh, I just think that as a person, I don't think it's nothing wrong with another woman being there for another woman's child. I don't. Because that's just like if that woman which is the biological mother wasn't there she would she would basically be um she would basically she would basically be um The, the child will basically be in foster care. So I want to know, I want to know what's between the difference of another, a stepmother being there, just stepping in to help out. And why should you drag another woman? Why? Why is it important to you to drag somebody else? You know, that's when I was talking about that Danny Lay in that uh, B. Simone situation. You know, why is it that it's important for you to drag somebody? It's not. I mean, it's not It's not that serious. It's not that important. But what I do think is, like I said before, you're jealous. You're jealous because he been with Gabrielle Union all this time. And he in a relationship with her right now, and he's not feeling you. And then you went all on um, social media telling these lies about these people. What do you get out of it? I mean, basically, y'all, that's really the only thing I had. I want to know. What do you get out telling lies? You know, why? I mean, that's all I want to know. 
And then, I mean, I'm not trying to crucify her in any kind of form of fashion because we don't know in society, we don't know what what's going on behind closed doors. We only know what we think we know. That's it. And I'm only saying this because it's in the uh on the internet. I feel that it's not that nothing wrong with supporting your child. That's what I feel like. That's the only thing I feel like. And I'ma say this. Zaya Wade models in a new Instagram video in the Wayne Wade. And I think that's great. And this was just, this just happened three days ago. It's into uh if y'all want to see that, it's in the Atlanta Star News. So you can look that up. I'm trying to look at different stuff that I can tell y'all more about her, but she, it looks like she's on her way to a good path and enjoying her life as being a um, I'm not going to say a transgender, a person. Because then you got, once again, you know, people saying uh, dirty things about her. And why is they saying these dirty things about this young, like, this young child? I don't know. You know, like that, what's that DJ name? DJ a Ackerman gonna sit there and say, and this is why you need a dad. And then comes back. It 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 it's just these people they they are unbelievable. That's what I'm gonna say. These people are unbelievable. Why he can't, he, he just can't, uh, be there for his son. Slash transgender door. <sighs> so I, I, I wake up every Monday morning and wondering about certain people. But anyway, I want to get out of here. And I want to thank y'all. Bye.